Hello everyone, welcome to the beginning of the very last leg of the second chapter of this trilogy. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Uh, I'm Mr. Han, welcoming you to Baldur's Gate Throne of Wall. The last D's, the DLC in the final chapter for the game. <clears throat> and the game where, essentially, after getting as far as you have in Baldur's Gate, the AI has finally decided, okay, you know what? <clears throat> it's time for the gloves to come off. This game is going to get pretty hard pretty fast. Um, but yes, right now we're in this spe uh, forest area where we essentially have to talk to some heads to learn things. So here's one right here. Let's see what he says. The Crossroad of past, present, and future. The one foreseen, the one foretold. That which hath passed is ne'er truly gone. History repeats, though mortals choose not to see. War and bloodshed be not new to the realms. A god that once hath been, may be once again. History repeats, though mortals choose not to see. Wow, isn't that relevant? Armies march and cities burn. The rivers froth with tainted blood. The corpses of those born not innocent feed the inferno of boiling hate. All servant deceived. Five led down a false path. A hidden traitor lurks in thy midst. The servant of Baal knows death and destruction. The face of an ally. The mask of the foe. The children of Baal bring death to the land. They slaughter each other and feed their father. Death and betrayal walk together. A river of tainted blood doth not cleanse. The storm approaches. We speak no more. Very cryptic. <coughs> so here we are. In this part, for some reason, uh, someone approaches and judging what the spirit says, it's likely that there is hostile intent. You must prepare for battle. Oh, here we are. And this is our first so, ball spawn. I have found you at last. It was an effort to track you down in these woods. Too many old wards for my liking. But here you are. Gasp! Recoil in terror! It's the almighty power of Jennifer Hale! I suppose you are some bounty hunter after ball spawn? All that you need to know that I have been given the pleasure of ending your life. I may yet mount your head on the wall with all the other ball spawn I've killed. I haven't decided. I really don't want to look at the walls in your house, okay? Um, I have no argument with you, whoever you are. No? I rather think this worst part of disagreement is obvious. I am ball spawn, as are you. Not all of us have been wandering Faroon like witless cattle. Like you and pathetic Imoen and so many others of Ball's blood. Some of us have far greater aspirations. Hey, uh, honey, Imoen's in my party. <laughs> you got a problem with her? Talk to her directly. The time of Alondo's prophecy has come. These rhyming ghosts here should have told you that much. Great things are afoot. And your contribution will be your death. You know, in... Technically, that one poem I was given didn't actually rhyme. It has already been decided. I am Illa the Quick, child of Baal, and I have been chosen to perform this deed. You cannot resist us. I love how Illa the Quick walked her way here after giving me all kinds of time to, you know. Uh, but -ba 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 -ba. so others have said they're dead now. We shall see. <clears throat> okay, so. And she also brought some help, for some reason. I don't know why she did, she'll probably kill them in the end. What do you want? Anyway. Um, yeah, let me, um, yeah, she has stone skin. Yeah. Yeah, it did not take me 12 hours to kill a Renick, so... <laughs> okay, we'll just pop this one down then. Um... What do you want? Oh, shit. Let me think here for a second. Hmm... Hard word silence. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. <coughs> um, okay. Hear you well so we're gonna go ahead and do called shots. Point the sword and I shall strike. Let's see. What else? That takes a while to cast, unfortunately. 
Glove of Warding takes incredibly long to cast. That's kind of... <coughs> I mean, I know it's meant to be a trap and all, but it's just like, eh. Here. Let's get a little... Let's get our hands a little dirty, shall we? Slay them. And, and of course... Oh, buddy Minsk is going to go a rating. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cario. Okay. All right. Now, let's go after you. Anything that looks like a wizard dies first. Uh-huh. Um, what else? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's just attack this one for now. <coughs> I hear you well enough. Um, let's see. You have Slay Living activated, so let's let's go ahead and see if we can pull this off. I don't I don't know if we can or not. Uh, oh yeah, cool. Let's see, yeah. You point, I point. See, that's the one thing I kind of hate about Slay Living. Um. It's one of those where you pretty much need to swords, be lucky. Um, how long is this guy? Uh, casting time of five. Really? A simple projectile? To oh, God. Okay, go ahead. Here. Go out there. Ah! Oh, hell, there's someone behind us. No! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's just fucking great. Here. Uh, I changed my mind. Go after him. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah. She has mirror image on, and it's always a it's a pretty safe bet that mirror image is gonna, you know, results in a miss. Uh, here. Yeah, you're you're fine. What's ahead, up? Man. Um, da -da 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 -da. to breach your defenses. Oh, cool! We love them. Nice. <laughs> At your order. Okay. Right. Okay, he's already dead. Nice. Awesome. All right, cool. Uh, let's see here. <coughs> okay, so we didn't have to worry about breach then. Um, attack him. I don't like him. Look at that guy. Okay. Okay. Ugh, swipe for turn base. Anyway, um... Oh, and also, real quick. So, I learned about Chromatic Orb. That is actually a lot more powerful than some people might think. So, the, um, the way it works is that it'll damage your foes, and of course... Oh, hell, he saw some... Oh, well, no, it's not good. Uh... Here. You go attack him. Go you haven't used it yet. Just go ahead and go after him instead. Orders? I yeah. Don't know sure. Do. Probably just to ensure that it actually hits. Boom! Got him. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And also, my bard was the one to. Well, but anyway, as I was saying, so chromatic orb. Of course, the majority of its effects do uh, go by that. Uh, saving throw, but it also, of course, usually is stopped by uh, magic resistance. Oh, cool, we won. Like I said, easy battle. The thing about Chromatic Orb is, though, that it's... So, at level 10, it gains the ability to petrify your foes. Yeah, I'll show you. Uh... <coughs> Doing the acid and victim zone, level two D eight acid and instantly kills the victim. What the game doesn't tell you is that the petrification and the instant death are not affected by magic resistance. In fact, it'll affect the enemy even if they're immune to acid damage, which that black dragon Armor, has, live by the which sword, just I mean that absolutely blew me away. In that turned into the case. Oh crap! I fell over. Okay. <laughs> So, here's the next big part of the DLC and where we'll be spending most of our time. I greet you, Godchild. You who are of divine blood. I have awaited you. And just who are you? I have existed since the first strand of fate was woven. A servant of the paths and the gods. I have watched your own path most carefully. 
Our own servant was the mortal Alando. Spake the truth that became prophecy. It tells of your coming and of all the others who are the progeny of Baal. The spark of the divine rests within all of Baal's children, and the time for their joining is nigh. I am here to aid you, grandchild. Aid me? How? I cannot interfere. I can only prepare you, Godchild. Aid in your education. You who are most unready to assume your destiny. What do you mean by that? I mean only that you are unready for the possibilities that await you. Your mortal mind does not readily comprehend the power of your blood. When you were last in your sire's realm, Godchild, it was altered by your own consciousness, without you even forming the intent to do so. You are not ready for the power. You must be ready. It is your presence which determines the outcome of the prophecy. Although even I cannot see it yet. When the time comes, you will be ready. I will make certain. What do you know about my power? Power comes with knowledge, Godchild. It shall come to you in time, as your destiny unfolds. I shall see you soon. Until then, hold your heart close and know that you are not alone. You are not alone. Okay, so that's pretty good. Cool. So, you have finally arrived. I have been waiting for you. Oh, great, this prick. Sarabok, what are you doing here? Get away from us! Huh? He is like bad Penny, this one. <laughs> An armored, deep voiced Penny of most sinister. What? Where are you getting Penny from? <laughs> I mean, I know a Tails Up Penny yields bad luck, but man, that's a terrible comparison. Silence. I have waited for Will Kinsgrove, and my words are for him only. Sarabok, didn't I kill you the last time in hell? For the last time in hell? You did indeed, although that was no fault of mine. It was you that summoned me then, even if the words were my own. I have done nothing but attempt to reform myself since. As you will recall, it is your will that shapes our fa father's realm, whether you're aware of that you do or not. I myself am nothing now but the shadow you see before you. Are you saying that I am in hell once again? You... you do not know where you are, do you? You did not come here on purpose? Ha ha! What a bitter irony this is. You, who stumble about nearly blind to the power, continue to survive, while I, Saravok, am reduced to this. Bah! Very well. I shall tell you what you, where you, you are. You are within our father's abyssal realm, brother. The plane once ruled by Baal and now shaped by the taint present in your soul, but no longer present in mine. You have been here before. This is a a cocoon of sorts, a miniature version of our father's larger realm, sort of a plane within a plane. I assume your mind formed it to protect you from the power of this place. Rather ingenious, dear brother. I wouldn't have thought you'd had it in you. Regardless, I spotted it form forming and guessed at its purpose. So I came here and waited, knowing that eventually you would come, and that we could discuss my deal. What kind of deal? What could you want? What do you think I want, dear brother? I wish to exist. I wish to be alive again. You can do that. The smallest fraction of your soul, my brother, given freely with the taint our dead father within it. That would recreate my flesh, restore my mortality. Seraphok would live again. I killed you once before. What makes you think I would want to return you to life? I do not come to the table empty-handed. You think me a fool? You are stronger than me. I do not contest that. But I can help you. And that has its price. And just how is it that you can help me? There is the knowledge of how to leave this plane of yours, Will. There is one thing I can give you, although I did not know that when I came here. No, what I offer is knowledge that is much more relevant. Something that dates back to my mortal days, where I was gaining power within the Iron Throne. Something that you will find most intriguing. I know where your destiny lies. I know where you must go to find it. Search about on your own, and it will soon be too late. The time of the old prophecy is upon us, or upon you at least. What say you? Just how did you come by this supposed knowledge? I gathered much of the old lore when I was alive, my brother. As you will recall, it was my goal to assume the mantle of her father. I am dead, perhaps, but yet the lore still holds true for you. Um, and what's to stop me from killing you again after you tell me all this? Nothing, perhaps. Doing so would not return you to that which you freely gave, however. 
And what would you kill me for? Revenge? You had your revenge. You truly blame my old ambition. I would do the same again if I could. I cannot, however, and you've nothing to fear in me. Um... Tell me how and I'll just blah blah blah. Uh, alright. I am struggling to get you have before you last. I know the events. Do we speak? You have no time to learn things on your own. Blah 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 blah. Um. Okay. No! I will never help you! No, no. You actually have to, unfortunately. You are gonna have to rely on his help, I believe. Unless this allows you to go out. Stand back for justice! No, you don't. It sucks. So, yeah, you do have to get his help. Yes. Uh, yeah, oh, jeez. Man, what is it with people? <gasps> yeah, you have to talk to him directly. Oh, actually, I forgot to level up. Level 5, level 6, and I got an ability. So, the set spike trap is actually one that you can take multiple times. Uh, I'm just trying to think here. Immune to death magic. Hmm. I don't know how useful that might be. I mean, I've already got death, or, yeah, death ward, and I really haven't seen that many instant death spells, so I'll just stick another spike trap. Uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> level 27, holy shit. <laughs> okay, but anyway. All right. What do you wish? Uh, have we discovered our way out? Yeah, brother, I figured out everything you wish, I've decided to speak to reason. I have decided that I will do as you ask, I will restore you. So I have cheated death. Thank you, dear brother. No gift could please me more. <laughs> Whoosh! Don't worry, you didn't die. I live! Flesh and blood and bone! I am alive! <laughs> I swore I would scratch and crawl my way back into the world of the living, and I have done it! I honestly don't know which is more powerful, the entire being of Saravok or the voice of Kevin Michael Richardson. Not truly dead, not truly alive. This this thing is an abomination. It's not even undead. I hope you know what you're doing. Well, would you like to find a way out then? I didn't think so. Though my sword and armor have not appeared, no matter what about the balls. Uh, without the ball essence to channel their powers here of little use, I should make do without them as I once did. Thank you. I am pleased. That's odd. I don't feel any different. Did I not say it was only an insignificant portion? I suspected that doing it here in this place it might work, but I was not sure. It's good to see I was always correct after all. You weren't sure that would work? I knew it. You were bluffing the whole time. I did not get to where I did in life without risk, fool. It was no bluff. I knew enough to suspect that it might work since our heritage was the same, but none of that is important. I imagine you are eager to hear what I have to say. The first thing I should tell you is how to leave this pocket plane you've created. It is an extension of your will. It exists because you need it to exist. It is this plane which creates the portal out, but it will not take you where you wish to go. It takes you where you need to be, or perhaps where you believe you need to be. But I cannot give you the ability to make this plane create such a portal. There are many barred passages in this plane of yours that I know the love. One, however, I can open, and beyond it lies what you seek. Watch. Yes, you have these special challenges here that you'll have to go through uh, in order to get the plot moving. Suddenly, no one's changed in the room beyond lies a challenge. Yeah, like I said. Uh, so there you go. Saravok stands ready. Enter the room and face your challenge. It will be difficult. You may not want to do it alone. There is a spirit here which can summon these, those companions that require for you part of which requires it. Regardless, once you have completed that challenge, you will be able to leave this plane of yours. It does not, however, take you where you wish to go. It takes you where you need to be, and I, as I said, know where that is. In my youth, I spent much of my time looking into the old lore of the dead Baal priesthood. I unearthed one of the old prophecies from an uncooperative sect of Sirik, one that spoke extensively of this time now upon us. The Sword Coast will run red with blood, yes. But the battles will culminate in a great struggle within a city to the south. The Tetherian city of Saradush. It is there that you must go, where the first step of the prophecy will unfold. Although naturally, you must face your challenge first. And then what will happen? Then the future begins. Then we will see we'll all see just how much of a role you are to play in this conflict, and if you can live up to your sire's heritage. How do I know I can trust what you say? Of course you cannot trust me. Why would you? Take me with it. Take you with us? So you can betray us, stab us in the back? Why would we ever want you with us? 
I once were sure that the old prophecies centered around me. Even if that is no longer the case, I know more about them than perhaps anyone. I can help you with the challenge in that room and more. Of course, I do this for no selfless reason. There is power in your wake. I am sure I am not the first to tell you this. And there is no better opportunity for me elsewhere. Besides, you defeated me long ago. You have earned my respect. Think of it. Brother and brother, side by side. Uh, forget it. You're not my brother. I will never trust you in my back. I see. So be it. Our business is finished, then. You have what you need, and so do I. Gather your companions for your time to be off. Maybe we not meet again. And off he goes. <laughs> Just bear in mind if, you know, you can actually have him as a companion. It is a legitimate thing, so that's cool. But I'm not interested right now. Maybe in another playthrough I will be. Oh, this is Cespinar. He is our Cromwell for the game, since we will not be able to go back to Athcatla. And what are you supposed to be? I am the little butler for the great bow. Oh, yes! Or I was. It has been very lonely for me. No more master to serve for a very long time. Until now, that is. You're a butler. What is it exactly that you do? Oh, I does clean things. I goes and I collect the little things that find their ways to the abyss. And when my master requests, I uses the recipes to making the shiny ones. Oh, yes. The shiny ones? Yes, oh, yes. Call on me, you may. Use my recipes for you will. I, I make the shiny ones. Have not done this for some time, though. No new master have I. Cespinar gladly serve the great one. Cespinar make good butler, yes? Would you like me to make you shiny ones? I have many recipes. And just so you know, there is a mod that I put in the game. For some reason, Cromwell and Cespinar don't share recipes in the base game, which I was never the biggest fan of myself. But there's a mod that allows Cromwell to make what Cespinar can and Cespinar to make what Cromwell can. So that way, in case you jump into throwing a ball too early, you don't lose any opportunities. Just bear in mind that you've got all the items you can because there are some items that if you go on to throw in a ball, you won't be able to collect them, at least not without cheating. Uh, sure, go ahead and tell me what you can do. Ooh! Needs must I look through your belongings? Match them to recipes, must I? Let me be. Hmm, belt to go around waist? Makes the master more better with sharp weapons? Loyal butler can improve your blade belt with gauntlets of weapon skill, gauntlets of weapons of gratis, and scroll to disintegrate them to essences. Shiny, a sword of gift. Mighty angry those sour faces would be with you having this. With some liquid mercury and 15,000 gold, I can make this an even greater silver sword. Now that I did not know about. Probably too shiny. Let's see what else you got. Ah, the flail of many heads it is. Ouch! Ooh, wrong head. I know his recipes for two heads for flail of ages. You can add poison head or you add electricity head. Only recipes I have, sorry. Or you can add them both and make the flail of ages plus five. You sure you not just want to dump everything out? Easier that way. Buddy, I have had that experience with characters who have died. It's not fun! Ooh! You like this one, maybe? Like a little snack on a toast, huh? <laughs> wow, um, y y go on, please. You're creeping me out. You got blade singer chain mail, I see. It's an elven chain. If you get scroll for protection from normal weapons and lots of gold, I can make even better. Impressive, huh? But you don't got right now. Okay, so I keep looking. What is this? Still cookie? Oh, that is no cookie. I didn't even realize I had a cookie. Ooh, what is bad smell? You've been killing dragons? Why, yes, I have. I'm glad you noticed. Let's see what kind of dragon scales the master has brought me. Scales from Black Dragon. Extra stinky, but has good recipes for. Uh, which recipes? I can make you full plate, light scale, tough helmet, or shiny shield for scales. Which one do you want? Hmm. Give me a second. I need to take a look at something. Okay, uh, I'm back. So I was looking up some stuff on line as far as these uh, items. Unfortunately, I have no idea what they do. So I think what I'll do is <clears throat> I might go ahead and just kind of load scum for a second and see what I can actually get out of these items. So let's see. I'll just hold off on those. Okay, I'm back. So I ultimately settled on something. Black Dragon Plate Mail. Uh, 
For Animan, it lowers his armor class to negative 12. Gives him 50% acid resistance and 10% physical damage resistance. And any opponent within 6 feet that hits me suffers 1d3 points of acid damage. Not all that much, especially considering all of my armor classes, but it's a nice little thing to have at the end of the day. Um, let's see here. Mm, nah, I I'm good with you. Uh, the armor. Uh, okay. So, with that... Huh, strange. Oh, okay. An aspect of my fate. In future, I only offer strange fate to attack at the entire pirate tapestry. So, when threats of many, threats touching you get woven around you, cut short, dead, the future ends. So, can help me or not? Uh, I cannot touch your own thread, nor can I tell where it leads. I can, however, I did those years after the threads of those whose lives are intertwined closely with your own, those who touch your side, yours. Oh, yes, we can bring people. Oh, yeah, this is where we. Okay. So, bring me my lover, Aerie. Wait, what? How am I in love with Airy? I didn't even recruit. Anyway, um, my guess is that um, if you say my lover, then they'll you know. Oh, and we can get Yoshimo back too. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, there's a few we can pick out. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything on anyone else right now. So okay, we'll just let that go. <laughs> The hell? No, I don't. Leave me alone. Jump on my sword that was a bug. Can, okay. Know. Let's go ahead and get this challenge taken care of, shall we? Gavid, you're you're one of us. You're one of the boss spawn, aren't you? Oh, but you you needn't worry about me. I'm dead. I'm a nobody. I grew up in a small farming village. I didn't even know what I was until they came for me. But I knew I was different. You can hear the screams at night, can't you? You can feel the blood of the murdered, how it flows all around you. A thousand different pains. You're nothing but a solitary echo. But it's not terrible. It's inviting. It calls to you. And if you give in to it, if you offer your entire heart up to it, everything becomes crystal clear. One murder, two, a thousand, it all becomes a part of you. I murdered three of the local girls until I was driven out. And then I went to the city. Murder was easier there, and I felt the call every night. You can taste life, you know, and it is divine. But you resist it, don't you? Why would you do that? I can feel you've murdered many, and yet you resist all the good that we, we alone, the ball spawn, can appreciate. After all, the only thing you need to fear is retribution. Yeah, he's, uh, not a regular person, is he? ta -da. Okay. And here we go. The players! Um, I completely forgot all this This is happening! What is it now? Minsk and the booze. Yeah, it's pretty easy right now, but uh don't get uh cocky. Every hamster has his day. Uh-huh. Oh fuck. Hang on. Nice. Hey. Boo says you shall suffer the to go. What's up? You point. Take him down! Orders. Swords, not words. You shall Glory suffer my wrath. Right. Yeah. Minsk and fools and a good hit. You Feel shall the suffer my wrath. Of justice. What do you want? Woo. So be it. I am your doom. Yep. Every hamster has his day. Uh huh. Armored, sharpened, and hey. raring to go. Oop, go for the Stop eyes, boo. Go poking. for the eyes. Here we go. You point. I punch. What? You want me to take out? Here we go. I'll show you a fight. Swords, not words. Minsk and boo. Hey, and watch where you're putting that thing. Every hamster has his band. Wait for it. Test. Armored, sharpened, and raring to go. Woo! Who says, what? Feel the back What's that? Just a I am your doom. Fear to You point. 
Orders. Swords, not words. Yeah. Eat it. Minsk and Boo stand ready. You what do you want? I guess this is happening. Every hamster has his day. Armored, sharpened, and rearing. Live by the sword. Live a good long time. Uh huh. All right. Hey. Minsk and Boo stand ready. I shall go forth at your command. Every hamster. Oh, I'll his show you a fight. Armored. See battle, Boo. Run, Boo, run. And with that, the first challenge is done. Whew. So, you survived retribution. I didn't, but then you know how to kill a lot better than I do. Strange thing is, the longer you survive, the more blood you have on your hands. And there's never an end to the retribution. Or is there? Very cryptic. Okay, so... We now have this Who special says, ability called Pocket what? Plane, which allows us to go back to this hot pocket whenever we want. And someone leveled up, because of course they did. I believe it was... Or did somebody... Oh no, it didn't level up. Oh yeah. I think that's the noise of place when you get it. Yeah. it <laughs> the same noise you get for getting a special ability is the same as the one you, where you level up, so that's kind of confusing. But yeah, whenever you're out in the world, you just press the hot pocket button and off you go. Yes, yes, Sespinar, that's great. We love you. All right. I think these are the items that the enemies had when you first... Uh... Oh, what's this? Oh, some spells. I can take them. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, and some potions. Of course, we absolutely need every potion we can get. Trust me, this is... <laughs> you're not you're not going to regret it, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so. Um, conjuration. Oh, I can learn it. Let's see, I can cut... I can't cast all these spells. Can she, can she cut? Okay. Um, and another thing to note about M1. So, you see how it says she can't learn spells. But funny enough, she actually can. It's quite possible that one of my mods caused a little bit of a graphical conflict, so it makes it look like she can't learn them, which kind of threw me off for a while, but as it turns out, she actually can, which is good, because 
kind of would have been stupid if she couldn't. Uh, let me take a look at this real quick. Upon casting a spell, the wizard conjures forth a fierce storm of high winds, driving rain and lightning. Creatures caught in the storm are battered by the wind and rain, uh, severely restricting their movement and fighting ability. Step point for negative pen uh, penalty of four to Thacko and armor class for one round. 33 hit points to lasting damage per round, and a 50% chance of being struck by lightning for 46 hit points of da electrical damage. There also is a 20% chance that non giant sized creatures will lose their footing and be pulled towards the center of the maelstrom or knocked down for one round. There is no saving throw allowed to avoid any of the effects of the spell. <laughs> that's good. And, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a mean spell. I'll give it to her. Yeah, the only reason I'm giving it to her is because she can cast them and I cannot, so. Let's see, I think both of us already have this one, yeah. And then, what's this piece of armor I got? This is a uh, elven chain of some sort. The sylvan chain plus two. That's not useful at all. Oh, I'll sell it later. Okay. So, with that taken care of, I believe now would actually be a good time to go ahead and call things here before the episode gets too long. Uh, when I next come back, I will be in the next area that we will be going to to face off against the next ball spawn. So, look forward to that, and in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, so until next time, take care of yourselves, and farewell. <laughs>